guys, I am 28 weeks pregnant today and I am officially in my third trimester. I am so excited to be on like the final leg of this pregnancy because if you followed my journey so far, it's been a little bit stressful. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys for your support and your sweet comments on my last video. Um, I just think that that was very nice and very sweet that you guys took time to leave me some sweet comments. So I just wanted to say thank you so much and I really appreciated that. It definitely put a smile on my face. If you are curious as to what I'm talking about, I will link my last week's video up here on the screen and you can go and check that out. Basically, my baby's measuring two weeks behind and I'm having regular growth scans now to watch her um, growth and her weight gain and stuff like that. But um, I was really upset in last week's video and really stressed out and just last week was very rough, but this week I have been feeling a lot better and I'm just I'm just putting it in God's hands and just hoping and praying for the best and just trying not to stress about it and worry about it um, and just really trying to take care of myself and rest and all that good stuff. So as far as trying to take better care of myself, I've just been trying to take it more easy this week and stay off my feet more and rest more and just sit down and breathe because I feel like I'm just constantly go, go, go and I really don't give myself any downtime. Um, I know that it's a, a lot harder for me this pregnancy to really take it down a notch just because I have Kaysen and he is a very active, wild two and a half year old. So um, he constantly has me on my toes and my feet all day long. So. Um, this week, I've just been trying to just let my body breathe a little bit because I did get sick um, two weekends ago when I went to Vegas, and I was still feeling like the remnants of that this week, which typically for me, like when I get a cold, it does linger for quite some time, but when you have a cough and your congestion and stuff during pregnancy, it just makes it so much worse, but it's slowly started to get better throughout the week and my cough is almost completely gone now and I think a lot of that has to do with me just taking it a lot more easy this week and I was kind of forced to take it easy like my, my body is just feels like it's been giving out on me. Last week I mentioned that I was having a lot of pain on my right side and me looking at Dr. Google thought that it was this like piriformis syndrome which causes your sciatic nerve to act up or causes pressure on the sciatic nerve which makes you feel like you have a lot of sciatic pain and I thought that the sciatic nerve only ran down the left side of the body but I found out that that is wrong that you have a sciatic nerve on both sides so you have one that goes down your left side and your right side so the pain that I have been feeling on the right side of my body really is sciatica so I've just this whole time when I thought that my sciatic had eased up and I was having something else going on the right side really has been the sciatica the whole time and this week it got so bad it was so incredibly painful i was miserable like i was telling kevin like i can't do this much longer like this is awful all the stress of this pregnancy all this pain that i'm in i feel like i'm 80 years old i, I tried to get on the floor to stretch and to do yoga because i just really enjoy doing those kinds of things and i couldn't even get on the floor or sit on the floor. I would literally go to sit down and it would I would be in excruciating pain and I would get stuck on the floor for at least 10 minutes because it was so painful, like hurt so, so bad. So Kevin finally was like, look, we gotta do something about this. You need to go get a prenatal massage, see a chiropractor, something like that. I've never been to a chiropractor before. Honestly, those people freak me out and I just don't want anything to do with anything like that. So I decided on a prenatal massage and I got that yesterday. Holy crap, that helped so much. I was so like on the fence about it. I was like, there's no way this is gonna work. Like this is a nerve, it's not a muscle, it's nothing like that. But it really did help relieve a lot of that pressure and it felt so good. I had a really good masseuse. She, um, wasn't too light on the pressure, she wasn't too heavy, and she was very gentle in the areas that I needed, but she applied just enough pressure to where I could feel the pain, but it was like a good feeling because I could feel just like the pain kind of releasing and relieving and getting worked out. Um, but after I had that massage, like I was still a little, I was still having some pain yesterday, 
um, but it was dramatically different, like a huge, huge difference. So if you're having a lot of aches and pains, sciatic problems during pregnancy, I highly recommend getting a prenatal massage because it really does help. Um, not only that, but drinking a lot of water. I've been trying to drink a lot of water this week and just trying to stay off my feet as much as possible um, has all really helped. I've also been using the heating pad a lot. We have an electric heating pad and I've just kind of been doing rounds on the heating pad 20 minutes you know, every hour or so, and that really seems to help a lot too, especially after I got that massage. It just, it's been feeling really, really good. So I'll um, put the heating pad like straight across my lower back for 20 minutes, and then I'll like sit on it for 20 minutes too, because um, the pain from my sciatica, it started in my butt, but as the week went on and as it got worse, it was starting to go down the back of my leg and up my back. So I just had a lot of a lot of pain in a large area. So moving around the heating pad really did help to like distribute, I guess, the heat and try to make it feel better all the way around. So um, it, it definitely has helped, and I've been sleeping better ever since. It's you know I've been doing that and stuff. I slept really good last night. It's just. I'm feeling so much better, so I cannot recommend prenatal massages enough and just trying to stay off the feet, use a heating pad, all that. Um, I did read that for sciatic pain, you can try taking Tylenol. I tried doing that and I did absolutely nothing, so no Tylenol worked at all for me. It's just trying to rest, stay off my feet, heating pad, prenatal massage. So I'm definitely, I think, going to try to do a prenatal massage like every two or three weeks for the rest of my pregnancy because it really did make me feel so much better. I think another reason why I've felt a little bit better and not so stressed this week is because I'm still feeling a lot of movement. Lainey's been really active. She was super active last night and her movements are just so fluid now and I just, I feel her so much. So that's been really comforting for me. I'm trying not to be stressed out and worried about her too much is that she is really active and I feel her all day, every day. I feel her the most at night. But it does make me feel reassured when I can feel her move a lot. So I'm really thankful that she is active because it helps to put my mind at ease on all that. The Braxton Hicks contractions, I'm still having those. Those are still pretty regular, um, which is just going to continue for the rest of the pregnancy. Some are really strong, some not so much, but they are definitely getting stronger. I've also gained another pound this week, so my weight gain is still pretty steady. I am now... This week I've been fluctuating between 144 and 145, so um, pretty much a 20, 21 pound weight gain for 28 weeks, which I think is pretty good. I'm pretty happy about where my weight gain has been at so far. I don't feel like it's too much. I don't feel like it's too little. I feel like I'm at a good, I'm going at a good pace. I was getting a little nervous there because a few weeks back I had gained like three pounds in one week, which was a little scary, but it's it's okay now. I'm okay with that. I feel like 20... 20, 21 pounds by 28 weeks for my starting weight and for how much I'm supposed to gain in the whole pregnancy. I feel pretty good about that, so I think I'm on the right track. So um, that's pretty much it update-wise. Um, oh, I guess I said I wasn't going to do this, but I guess I'll talk about what your What to Expect app says. I know that my baby's not this big, but it says for 28 weeks, your baby's about 16 inches long and 2.5 two and pounds. I know she's not that long and I know she's not that big. Um, I have my anatomy scan next Thursday, so or my growth scan next Thursday, so I'll update you guys at my 29-week update, which is next Friday, how the growth scan went. At my last growth scan when I was 26 weeks, she weighed 1.4 pounds, or they estimated her to weigh 1.4 pounds. So I'm hoping now that she's at least at or right under or around the two-pound mark, um, but we'll see. I really don't know. We'll just see what happens at the appointment and see what the specialist says and all that good stuff. So that is it for symptoms and pregnancy update wise. Now I want to move on to my haul. I placed a pretty big order on Carter's Online and they were having such a good sale. My friend Erin um, texted me let me know like that they were having a good sale. So I hopped on there and I picked up a lot of onesies, bodysuits, um, all that because for the first month or two, like we just kind of hang out at home a lot 
and we don't really do anything. So I'm all about the onesies and the PJ sets and just easy, comfy clothes for baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you um, everything that I picked up. Definitely check out Carter's. You can always find a coupon somewhere online for 15, 20, 25% off. They've always got a sale going on, clearance, all that jazz. So um, I will leave the Carter's website down below and I'll try to link all the outfits that I purchased down below in the description box too if you're interested in purchasing them for your baby. Um, if they are still available online, I will link them down below for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. The first thing that I purchased was actually a set of short sleeve onesies. This came in a set of five and all everything that I got is in newborn sizes. I picked up all newborn because I know she's just gonna be on the small side. So in this five pack, it came with this, all these onesies are just pretty plain, which I like. I like, even in my own style, like to dress like pretty plain, solid colors, light prints, and then go heavy on the accessories. So the first onesie is just this white one with blue polka dots, a navy onesie that says always adorable. This little onesie in the set's pretty cute. Just says little cutie and it's got a little dog next to it. This is my favorite onesie in the set. Um, it's got this little girl that reminds me of, um, I don't know if when y'all were younger you remember the, the show and the little books about Madeline. Um, that little girl in this picture reminds me of her because her hat looks like her. It's just a little girl on a bike with a puppy in the basket. I love this onesie. I think it's adorable. And then the last one in the set is just this navy and white striped onesie. I love onesies like this. They are easy to put on, easy to take off. They're thin, they're soft, they're comfortable. And making baby comfortable is just my number one. I want a casing to be comfortable and I want this baby to be comfortable too. I got another set. This one is a three piece set. It came with three long sleeve onesies and these onesies are just so, so, so precious. You can take the tag off because they're all hooked together. It'll be easier for you guys to see. I love the detail in these onesies. I think that they're so precious. This one's just a light blue with cherries on it. I love just the way that it buttons, how it goes to the side, and it's got just the cutest little scalloped detail in the stitching. I think it's so cute. Also, these long sleeve onesies have the built-in mittens and cuffs for the hands, which I love because I've mentioned before I had the toughest time keeping mittens on Kaysen because his hands were so tiny that even the newborn sized mittens always fell off. So I love the onesies with the built-in cuffs. It came with this solid pink one which has just a really cute little diamond texture to it. I just think it's so precious. I cannot wait to put her in these onesies. And then this onesie is my favorite of the bunch. I just, I love floral print. I think floral print is just so darling and so sweet and so cute. So um, these are cute. I can just throw these on her, throw on a cute little pair of pants or leggings and she's gonna be just comfy and cozy and cute all day. This is just a single onesie. Um, I love the little scalloped lace details on these onesies. I think they're so precious. Um, this onesie doesn't have the cuffs. Not all long sleeve onesies come with those, but a lot of them do. This one just doesn't. Um, and then it's just got like, it's like kind of like a Henley top. It's got the three little buttons. It's just so adorable. It's got little pink flowers all over it. This is also a single long sleeve with pants onesie. It does not have the built-in feet on this one, but it does have the built-in cuffs. Again, white with floral print. I just love it. I think these are so cute. And this is cute because it can work as like PJs or it can be just like a regular outfit. I think it's just so sweet. She's gonna be so cute in this. I can't wait to put her in it. Another long sleeve onesie, again, doesn't have the built-in feet, but has the built-in cuffs. Um, the In between the buttons down the center, it's got these sweet little bows. I just think that, ugh, I just love these onesies. I know that Target carries Carter brand, but the Carter's website has a lot of stuff that Target does not have. And they have a lot cuter stuff than you can find at Target sometimes. So I definitely recommend checking out um, the Carter's website because they just got the most precious little onesies. I think these are so adorable. Shopping for girls is so fun. I mean, I enjoy shopping for Kaysen, but let's get real. The stores don't make as cute a closer voice as they do for girls, let's be honest. I got another set. This set came with a onesie, a shirt, and some pants. So I'll start with the shirt and the pants first. This is really similar to one of the onesies that I just showed you, but 
it's just this cute little like frilly little shirt. I think it's so sweet and then it came with um, pink pants to go with it. These little pants are perfect. You can, I think she can wear these pants with like any of her onesies. Um, and it's just got this like little scalloped detail on the on the um, bottom of the pants, but it's just adorable. So this little set together is just going to be absolutely fresh. I can't wait to dress her up. And then it also came with this onesie as well. So this onesie can be worn with the pants also. And um, it's just a bodysuit long sleeve, but it has the mitten cuffs. So that's a bonus. Just a sweet little plain pink and white striped onesie. This next one is a straight up PJ outfit. It's got the built-in footsies and everything. And it's gray with gold hearts. I thought it was so cute. Again, with the built-in cuffs for her hands. I thought this was really cute and she didn't have anything gray and gold in her collection yet. So I had to get this. I just thought it was so precious. This little PJ set as well, um, no built-in feet. A lot of the stuff that I found on the Carter's website didn't have the built-in feet, but a lot of the Carter's stuff at Target has the built-in feet, but not really on the website. Um, this one's really precious as well. It's just white with navy hearts. It's got the pink detail, like lining around the sides. Again, has the built-in mitts. Love the built-in mitts, it helps so much. Um, but this one's really cute as well. She's gonna be super precious in this. This next little onesie is really cute. I love the colors. I just think it's so cute for spring and summer. Even though she's not going to be born on the spring and summer. I mean, when she's born, it's probably still going to be hot as hell here. But um, I just think that these colors are so cute. They're so bright and fun. Just this hot pink onesie with white detail. And then it's got the highlighter yellow um, little trim. Built-in mitt cuffs. And then this one does not have the feet either. I need to get this baby some socks. A lot of Casey's onesies had the built-in feet and I just noticed hers don't. So I definitely need to find some socks, some good socks that are gonna fit her because I had a hard time keeping socks on Casey as well, but we'll figure all that out. But um, super cute. I think this one's just really cute. I like the colors. I think it's really, really sweet and fun and different. This last set is a three-piece set. Came with two onesies and a pair of pants, one long sleeve onesie, one short sleeve onesie. The long sleeve onesie is this cute little orange onesie and it says sweet like mommy because well, let's get real, she's going to be sweet just like me. This cute little polka dot pair of navy pants, it's got a cupcake on the butt. I saw the cupcake and I was like, oh, I have to get the pants with the cupcake on it. So this is going to be a cute little set and I love the orange too. So it's going to be such a cute little set together, she's going to be so adorable. And then um, the shirt says daddy's little cupcake. I wanted to get this outfit because one of the onesies was something about mommy and the other onesie was something about daddy. So me and Kev will each get a little, um, a little love from her in each of these onesies whenever she gets to wear them. So that is everything that I picked up from Carter's. They were having the best sale. I mean, they have sales all the time. So I would definitely recommend if you have a little one or even a toddler, sign up for the Carter's emails. They have sales and coupons all the time and they have a rewards program too. So like I think when you spend $100, you get $10 back to spend. So um, definitely recommend checking out Carter's if you have a little one, Carter's online. So I'll leave their website down below. Also Oshkosh, Oshkosh and Carter's are one and the same and I just placed an order with Oshkosh. So that may be in by next week's video. So if it is, I'll um, show you guys what I got from Oshkosh in next week's update. So that's it for what I purchased for baby this week and my symptoms and all that stuff. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bump. Okay guys, so this is belly for 28 weeks, officially in my third trimester. Happy about that. I'm happy to be in the home stretch. Belly from the side. Show you bare belly like always. Belly from the front. And third trimester, 28 week belly from the other side. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this week's video. Again, thank you so much for your sweet love on last week's video. I hope you guys are enjoying these updates and thank you so much for following me along on this journey. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again soon.